In this lesson, we are going to take a look at the site settings. Now, this is the general settings for the site. Now, if you click anywhere else here, you can't edit anything. You have to click on to activate the add-in so you add it in so you can save things. So first you can have your site title, whatever your company's name is. If you want to have a slogan, you can do that. The reason why it's not shown, as you see, I just add on there and refresh. The reason why it's not shown because you have this as an image. So it's pulling from the images on here. So you click select. If you wanted to upload an image, you can do that. So let me just choose something here. So now I've added a logo. I'm going to choose this one. Click on insert, which is going to take over the logo for this. Now, if I wanted to use just text, I can also just uh, just delete this. If I delete this, then it's not going to have anything up there. It's going to I'm just going to have just the text that I put there. But I really don't want to have the text, so I'm just going to delete it and put the logo back. So now you have the logo there, and you can put one for the mobile. Now with the mobile, I would suggest that you make your original logo a little bit smaller, um, so that way it can, you know, fit better. So for the logo, I'm just going to choose the same thing, and that's the mobile logo. Now you won't be able to see anything yet how it shows in, uh, on the mobile, but if I were to come up here. After I save this, then I can be able to switch so you can see exactly what it looks like on a mobile phone. And then you have your other settings here, which is the favicon. And the favicon or fav icon, that's what shows up at the very top of the browser. Like when you go to certain websites, you see an icon at the top that lets you know what website that is. That's what you put here. Now you can generate one of these for free. Just search online, you know, free favicon generators and put in your image uh then it can be able to you know upload one for you and you can show back to the top button do you want to show right now it's not showing back to the top so if i enable this it is going to show the back to the top button and then once i'm done uh then i can just click on save oh just put the site name here you can choose to if you want to but i'm gonna click and save and i can also clone this so now you see here i have this so let's take a look at this and see what it looks like on the mobile phone you remember the logo i talked about that is what it's going to look like on the mobile phone so if that's too big for you you can certainly just edit it and then upload just the mobile version of you can make it smaller uh but for this purpose i'm just going to leave it as it is and when you go to the phone then you have that option to be able to do that but this here covers the site settings as you can as you can see it's very simple and easy for you to edit things and you can add your logo you can brand it exactly how you want it to be